What's up, guys? Vince right here. Welcome to Vince Talk. We have a good amount of topics. And pretty much, like, it's mostly within animation. Who would knew? Who, who would knew? Who would know? Who would knew? Who would know? Who would knew? Anyways, yeah, what's up? I'm still doing the whole freaking, you know, not a lot of videos for this particular weekend type deal. But that's because I, I don't know. I've just been... <laughs> I haven't been active with any of the videos as I wanted to actually upload. But yeah, I'm going to get this done quick. I'm supposed to record this at a much earlier day, but things happen. Things be happening. Anyways, we got ourselves like some news here. I don't know if I have any updates. So yeah, that I mean, I don't. But I am looking for, and I am getting ready because in basically in a few weeks, I am off. I'm leaving America. Yep, I'm going to Italia. Italiano, Italiano. Pretty much I gotta get my Italian, right? And also Spain. Man, I'm excited for Spain. Let me tell you, I'm pretty much looking forward to how my Spanish would, would you know, would actually pan out when it comes to this. I mean, they're either speaking like Spanish or English. You know, English or Spanish. But something that you know... Da, 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 da. I, I swear, when when people say the whole, like, English or Spanish, like, like, does it still, like, can you still move if you're bi? Like, no one told me that rule, especially with any other, uh, uh, other elements within the alphabet community. Like, like, I'm bi, so I'm part of that alphabet community. So do I still move or do I not? Uh, do I, do I still, like, because I'm not, like, never, anyways. Anyways, is that meme old? It's probably old. Yeah, it's old. I'm old. Anyways, let's do this. Uh, there's been conversations surrounding the whole Keely thing, and he was pretty much in the DMV talking about uh, this, you know, the food there. <laughs> DMV is basically Maryland, Delaware, and Virginia, you know, that area in the East Coast. And he did not have a good experience there. I don't know if he's ever getting a good experience anywhere because it seems like like no matter where he goes like he's just not getting a good experience like like pretty much like in like especially here in the bay area i don't know if he had a good experience but i swear he actually sit down to talk about his his experience and it was like a sit down talk like hey listen i can't do this anymore type thing you know what i mean like i feel like he's been doing that recently especially with that whole controversy in atlanta georgia like when you, when you have that certain amount of power to actually go to these places, Keely is basically like any other person. I feel like people forget that even though you have like millions of subscribers, followers and stuff like that, you, you're still you're still a person. You're still like wanting to go to the groceries and also take care of your kids like everyone else. It's just that your opportunities are high and also you're much more busy person. And also you're you're more blessed like how he is. He's blessed to actually have you know, the revenue he got from doing all these or how he's basically helping other small businesses, you know, and, you know, helping them rise up. And the thing is that he, he has good reasons of actually not, you know, giving any dropping any names of the restaurants that he went to, especially when these restaurants are places that he just didn't like at all because the food was bad, because, you know, he probably had food poisoning in some of them, I think, or at least almost and also customer service and everything like that. But in, and there's this conversation that pretty much he still needs to give the name of the places so people are aware. But at the same time, it would hurt their business. And I think that's what also happened. I didn't follow the whole Atlanta thing. It's just that I just recently been hearing all this news surrounding Keatley and the effects of the Keatley effect of just like how he's affecting these other businesses, other restaurants and how he's, you know, you know, pretty much how's that really like panning, panning out to just like, like hurting the businesses, affecting them, literally changing their lives. And it just takes one person. And it kind of shows you that no matter who enters your restaurant, you have to treat them the same way. Like, basically everyone else that you want you know they they came their first service and if they a review a star can literally affect their whole business it can affect the whole you know financial hood in a whole and pretty much like put their business 
down and pretty much like like you know it really does have a big effect on this like the same thing with the marquis situation when he was reviewing phones because he is a person that reviews tech marquis brownlee and he got like either backlash or something like that from like some phone company that he didn't like that he called out and it basically had them you know bankrupt like and also another thing for smaller like you don't even have to be a bigger person to actually review stuff when it comes to reviewing them it can also be done as well as this and this is from the cozy gaming community that there was this one girl uh youtuber that i don't know the name of i've completely forgot and she reviewed something in a game okay she reviewed a game she got like a a review key to review that game because you know they kind of have to give you the review key so you can actually download it and you know either on your pc and stuff like that and this game was in the game is pretty much like any other quiz game but she didn't like it she reviewed it made a video of it because they kind of made an agreement of that i'm not sure what the nda is and yeah she basically like I don't know what happened necessarily, but they basically turned like the ones that gave her the game terminated the agreement, terminated like everything, at least from what I heard. I could be wrong on all of this because this is kind of like a while ago and I completely forgot about all of this, to be honest. Other people could have a better way of actually, you know, uh, of, of presenting this news compared to me because this was like a while ago. Or at least that's what it feels like because I I'm blanking out of like what happened. But basically, I what I do know is that nothing good happened when that in, that review came out. And the moment that review came out is that yeah, she they didn't like her review. I mean, nobody likes criticism mostly, but criticism is not really a bad thing. It's a good thing. Like you know, criticism my channel. Yes, I don't like it. In my opinion. But at the same time, I can understand what a lot of my criticisms when it comes down to making my videos. You know, the whole thing about, you know, like, you know, they talk about stop freaking ranting too much, Vince. Stop rambling. Please get to the read. Stop zooming. Stop making these noises. You know, go to a clear area or something like that. Like, literally, I, I think I had a comment saying, like, I what's that sound? What is it sounding this time? And it's a time lapse. And it's when the AC is on. I'm sorry. I want to read. Like, you know, I get the criticism. But at the same time, I don't want to freaking die and have a heat stroke when, when I'm doing these reads. You think I get paid to do these reads? You think I freaking want to, you know, su you know, suffer my life for, for, for a freaking YouTube video? No, I don't. I'm turning that freaking AC on. It's hot. It's 100 degrees here in the hillbilly west. So, so of course, I need the freaking AC on. Sorry that the noise bother you. Like, I kid you not, I had the one sound. Like, I, I, that noise is annoying. Why you had the... What do you mean? Are you talking about the fan? The, I'm sorry. How about coming here in the 100 degree weather? How about coming here in Death Valley and see how it is? See? Uh, uh, huh? How about paying that much for the, like, AC? Anyways. You, you know, you get me. But... Like, some criticism is good. Like, you know, yeah, I, I need to stop ranting. I need to stop rambling, like what I just did there. <laughs> and basically, Vince Talk is a place to ramble, but I still do the rambles on my other videos. That has nothing to do with rambles, but I still ramble because I don't know. I don't know, guys. And pretty much, I can understand what what many criticisms coming true. But when it comes down to criticism of just, like, an agreement that you had and you pretty much like decide like yeah i don't like that uh, review it's backlash i mean and, like you know what and, and pretty much it's gonna be worse if you terminated the agreement but not because right now she made a video of like talking about this and now nobody wants to play their game anymore because of that one incident see certain things and listen people are complicated when it comes down to anything especially running a business running a game a, you know making a game and you want it to be successful you have to have thin, thick skin, not thin, thick skin, and also have a sense of patience and understanding of when these things come, because that's the only way to actually be successful or actually, you know, have a good product. When somebody reviews your product and like, you know, the same thing right now, I'm looking at like, you know, 
handhelds and stuff like that. I'm trying to get some handheld video game handhelds for my trip to Europe. And pretty much I found one and I've been doing a lot of reviews and pretty much these reviews exist for a reason. People want to know what is the right product? What is like the perfect product to actually help them and actually is, you know, the best to, you know, that they feel like would fit in their lifestyle. And there are so many out there in terms of gaming handhelds, especially the ones I've been looking at. And I found one, but I still look at reviews. I still look at, you know, you know, just reviews of just like what this product, is it good? Is it not? Is there ways to change it? Is there ways to, you know, upgrade it? Stuff like that. And I feel like for any review of anything, especially a game, and especially, you know, uh, your restaurant, you know, those reviews exist because you will be better. Yes, the the instances of like there are crazy people that are willing to because Keatley gave you a bad review. There is that worry. And even Keatley worries about it, too, that the restaurant could be literally in danger. I'm talking about someone could literally throw a chair on the windows because Keatley said your food is bad and whoever hurts their precious Precious King Keat Lee, their their Lord and Savior Keat Lee, it, are, they're getting. I will throw this chair in your face. How dare you? You know it's it's stupid. <laughs> like Keat Lee didn't really ask for this. That's why you got the. You, that's why she he doesn't drop names, and that, that it makes sense, because people, especially now, are going into into those strands just to actually hurt. <laughs> Because of a review, because that review, because that restaurant and Keely just doesn't like the food, it, it, it's insane, you know? And it makes sense because these restaurants are still, they're still struggling. They're still mom and pop shops. And the worst thing that can come is like somebody reviews their food and say it's bad, you know, because Keely could easily do that. Keely could have the power to take down restaurants and they could be gone and something could happen to them. And people are, will go into, into like those, like they will cross those lines for sure. But at the same time, thank God he's a good person. Thank God that he decided to drop the names because if I was a restaurant and I served Keat Lee and I didn't know it was Keat Lee because Keat Lee is very incognito with those types of things, like going to restaurants and pretty much he, he, he would just not like, it would just either be his wife or who his family members, his friends would like get the food and then he they would give it to Keith Lee and he he would try it and review it and see if it's good or not rating from 1 to 10 and pretty much just telling you what he thinks about it if it's good or not and if it's bad I would worry my business that my family would that work hard to actually you know because running a bit, restaurant is not easy you know, there's certain like, you know, licenses and, you know, things you have to pay to actually run the damn building. But at the same time, if this goes downhill, then, you know, chances of being homeless is possible because Keely doesn't like my food. He, he's probably, you know, not going to, especially if you're not going to put the video out or like giving the names, you know, that that's also another thing. Like I would either, either struggle because no one ever heard of this restaurant. No one gave me a chance or you gave me a bad review and now I have to deal with the crazy crowd. Basically I have to deal with the fact that this restaurant is known for having the worst uh, adobo Filipino spaghetti or whatever I'm serving. I don't know. <laughs> um, if I was making a restaurant, it would be a Filipino restaurant, but I have no idea what the heck why I was served. Okay. I would literally need my parents to help me with that anyways. But yeah, that's the key lead situation going on in DMV. A lot of restaurants that he didn't put out there and probably because he thinks that's a good reason. But at the same time, let me know what you think. I don't know about it, but it's it's real. Anyways. Also, another thing I want to put out there. I've been doing these Let's Reads. I still do them. And I pretty much haven't make a lot. And I just realized something that I with all the reads of the videos that I've been making of all these Let's Reads, I realize that I do not like long dialogue. Long dialogue that is pointless. I could get down with some dialogue that are a bit long and also... The, but there's a point to it. There's an explanation. Like telling you a story or telling you about this person or what happened to this person and stuff like that. You know what I mean? 
there's been like with these webtoons that I've been reading and pretty much I haven't been really into making webtoons and stuff like that for a while, even though I still make them because you guys want more, um, is that I, I just don't like it when, and that's the thing with why I haven't really read Daybreak because there's these reads that I go into and it just, I don't know, there doesn't seem to be a point. And that's my, you know, criticism with boyfriends is that, I mean, it's like, I get that we're having fun. There's, and there's some amount of drama or something, but it's not really, it's kind of like overreacting. Like, like, I'm going to be honest talking about boyfriends and some of you pretty much know me because of boyfriends. Um, I'm so tired of just like the outburst that is just for no reason. What was Jock's outburst of him crying because he thought that, you know, goth hate him and then they come together and it's like, oh, I love you, Jack, uh, you know, and it's like, what's happening? <laughs> like, is that how it goes in relationships? Then again, this is a this is a fictional relationship that could be real. You know, preliminary relationships are real out there, even though, in my opinion, they're just wrong, <laughs> to be honest. It's very uncomfortable, but... Yeah, like, it's just something I noticed so far from, you know, with all these reads I've been doing. Like, there's, I, I can tell that, like, there's some of it that is just absolutely pointless. Because as I'm reading it, I'm like, what are they even talking about? Like, for example, Boy Girlfriend. I honestly am tired with the whole freaking Anon chat thing. I am tired of that. I hate that, okay? The whole Anon chat, back and forth Anon chat... That, that has to go. That has to go. Like, I don't care about your, your fictional friend or something. I get what the story is supposed to be or something. I don't know if it's a story. Because all of this, like, panels is going into the freaking dialogue of the end in chat. And instead of, like, what's happening between Onyx and also King. What's happening between the actual freaking humans. The people that we see on the panels. Instead, we go into these pointless chats of the Anna chats. Like, you know, of just, like, you know, talking on your phones and social media. When there's the person in front of you. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, I, there, there's other... I can go on about every webtoon that I'm reading at this moment. Especially the ones that I released this weekend. But, man... I really want to read something that isn't freaking pointless. Isn't like, like, oh, we're just dwelling on this one thing, but we're still here. Like, there's some stuff that's pointless. I can stay, to say the same thing with our walk home. The whole thing about the beef between the two schools is absolutely stupid, to be honest. Okay. I can't picture, like, there, yeah, yeah, sure. There's schools that does exist. Like, oh, we're going to beat the, the, the Lakeview High School Tigers. Yes. Yeah, cool let's go you know like a freaking p teacher yelling in his class like we're gonna beat him and the and the whole class is like like w why <laughs> my my girlfriend goes to that school <laughs> my brother goes to that school you know that type of thing but all of a sudden we're being at school for freaking what i don't know i find that absolutely pointless and now i'm ringing it and you guys because you guys want it and there's a part of me where i'm like this is stupid and i get that the whole story of that webtoon is really trying to actually picture that as stupid as well because these are two lovers that are from different schools that don't like each other anyways let's get into gaming i'm gonna say i'm gonna there's this announcement and it's gonna be real quick uh pax west just happened who would do a convention that I, I i don't know if it's like falling off or anything but man it i wouldn't be surprised um next nick <laughs> And yeah, there's really nothing else for PAX West. I don't know if there was a game announcement or anything like that. But speaking of game announcements, the Nintendo Switch Direct, the two-time freaking indie partner like showcase just happened a few days ago. And I'm about to talk about it because there were some games that I really, really liked. And I was like, yo, I actually want to play some of these. And, you know, there's a good amount of them that pretty much most people wouldn't care or whatever. But man, I saw these games, I'm like, yo, I want to play that. Star Overdrive, which is basically Haven, which is basically like, uh, like it, it's supposed to be like XX Tricky or Tony Hawk Pro Skater, but in a storyline sense. And I'm just like, but on a hoverboard. And to that, I'm like, yo, that's cool. Because I did play another hoverboard game. It was a demo of this cat hoverboard, and that was pretty cool. But my, my Switch broke, so I don't know what happened to it. It didn't broke. It, it just, like, when I was playing the game, it just logged me out. 
it, like it's too much to handle because it is a PC game at first. Um, but also, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And also, there's like you know, like the Find Collection. People were on about like you know Power Stone coming back. I didn't grow up with Power Stone. I played it when I got the Dreamcast emulator working, and I have to say, like, it is a fun game. It is a good time, that's for sure. And also, there's, like, some announcements. Like, I think Epic Mickey Refurbished actually just came back. And also, Yakuza Kawami is also coming to Switch. I don't know how that's going to run. I'm interested to see how that works. Um, Apparently, there's another Five Nights at Freddy's 1 to 2. Okay, that's cool. My Sims. I was like, yo, My Sims is here. Because right now I'm re I'm right now playing my Sims. I'm playing the I'm I'm basically playing the original My Sims. It has nothing to it. There's other My Sims that involve medieval times and agents and, and blah blah blah. But I'm playing the just the normal My Sims where you decorate people's houses and it is a lot of fun. I, it is my cozy game at the moment so far. But now they're coming with a bundle for Switch players and I guess the cozy gaming community is going to be funzy about it. I guarantee you. And and also Civilization is here. That's surprising. Um, Castle Dominus Collection uh surprising i don't know if i'm seeing all these are surprising of course they were going to be in the switch and um sukudan a lot of people are talking about sukudan i never heard of that but i'm also interested to see it altiar like, i didn't know there was another altiar game okay i i guess there is because this involves yumia um also this patrick star game is weird but it looks interesting i don't know why but i'm looking at it and i'm like you know, SpongeBob games, when it comes to them, I honestly, like, like, I enjoy a lot of them. I will say that. I enjoy a lot of these SpongeBob games. But at the same time, like, you know, like, that's the, like, when it comes down to the Sponge, SpongeBob series, I don't know. I have, like, a back and forth love for SpongeBob. I grew up with it. But it, it's also, like, like, ba- damn, I don't know what. Like, there's times where I don't know what to think about it because it's just so random and it's, like, too overrated. But the Star Game looks interesting. It's a sandbox game. The same thing with Goat Simulator Trash. Goat Simulator Trash is in here. That's cool. Pizza Tower is there. That's kind of surprising. I'm like, it wasn't there. Like, it wasn't in the Switch already. That's that's kind of strange to think about. I'm like, I thought it would, But I guess not. Maybe because I... Anton Blast is on the Switch and... Pizza Tower is going to be on Switch. It's kind of like Pizza Tower. Like, move aside, Anton. I'm the real Anton Blast. I'm the original. Respect your elders. You know, that type of thing. Europa, I'm excited for that. On your tail. I can't wait to check that one. Because I did check it out on PC, the demo. And I loved it, to be honest. I'm not a fan of investigating games. But because this one is set in Italy and it's pretty nice. And there's been a lot of games that are set in Italy. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> There's been a lot of, like, Italian-inspired games. Not Mario. I don't know what that is, okay? Is that Italian or is that Japanese pe- think- people thinking, like, that's how Italians act? And I get Mario's, like, you know, everybody freaking knows Mario, but come on. There's games. There is a dimension in... Because we always see, like, stuff from Japan. Why not give other countries a chance? It doesn't hurt, okay? Instead of Japan, America, but, hey, Italy, it's an open market. There's so many things to do there. Come on! Um... Peglin, I'm looking forward to see that one. I don't know about Marcel's. Can I be on it? I saw Marcel's and I was like, I I honestly, I, I don't feel comfortable just looking at that. Can I? <laughs> but it looks so cool. But at the same time, it is so gross. I'm like, you're playing as a sewage feces. Why? <laughs> it's, ugh. It's so disappointing because the game looks nice, but my god, that is a disgusting game. What the heck is that? It looks cool. It's a fun game, but I I just wish it was just like cutesy animals or people or I don't know husbandos and waifus. But instead, you had freaking. Uh, anyways, uh, like it could have been a lamp. Like, you know, like, this lamp and the date, everything. I tried to do a transition. That sucked. Jeez. Um, <laughs> this game, date, everything, I'm playing it. I'm getting that game. I'm getting that game. 
I'm sorry. I'm getting that game. I I saw that and I was like, yo, no wonder this is on the Switch. This could have been anywhere else. But I'm looking at this. I'm like, you can date your lamp, your bed, your freaking what? What's what's next to me? Your your pillow, your 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 blankie, your your freaking like your hats, your your billiard table, your um chair, your other chair. Your table, your table two, your table three, your dinner table. You can date all your objects. This is the perfect game for for lonely people. This is... <laughs> this game is speaks to me. This game... I, 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 man, this game... At the same time, it just makes me obsessed. <laughs> just knowing, just like, yep. Like, not, not obsessed, depressed. It's depressing to think that I that I love this game because you know, like it's a game where you can date anything and everything. That's freaking weird. <laughs> but hey, I'll check it out. I'm gonna stream the crap out of that game. I guarantee you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna get it on PC to be honest. Um, but anyways, uh, sees the stars. Mm, that's interesting. They came out with a DLC. Is a. Uh, is the is the completionist back there? I'm playing. Um, Neva, that game is coming out soon. I'm looking forward to that. Bellatrio looks pretty cool. I'm interested to check whatever that game is, to be honest. But uh, other than that, that's all I kind of saw from the Nintendo Direct. It's all pretty cool stuff, to be honest. I was I was impressed. It wasn't bad as people like to make it out to be, but to me, I liked it. I enjoyed it. There was some stuff there that was like. Man, this is the best direct, but there's something about it that just, like, isn't. Maybe Marcel's is the answer. Um, but, yeah, that that happened. That was the direct, and I guess we're going into some animation news. <laughs> the meats of this podcast. Believe it or not, I usually never have any animation news. But I guess for this one, why not? And also, before I go there, uh, yeah, people were still asking about the whole, like, within the, the Silk song in Nintendo Direct. And in my head, I'm like, how is it taking this long to make Silk Song? Now, okay, okay, we're done with the gaming cast. Now, moving on to the animation cast. And I guess this one involves Sonic Hedgehog 3. And the movie is coming out soon. It has Shadow. It's pretty hype. And there's two Dr. Eggmans. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be cool. They say, I don't know if this is the one that they said that Amy was going to be in. I really want to see Amy. But that I guess that can wait because, hey, I guess Sonic is a sausage fest. Sure, buddy. But no, but seriously, I, you know, I'm excited for Shadow. Um, I don't know if there's other characters in there. I got a feeling there is. I really hope that we don't see, like, some of the characters from the, the Knuckles show. That one is just bad <laughs> i just like the knuckles like you know series i don't know what to think about that one that one is just like i i man my eyes hurt from watching that especially the the scene when they're having their little home bar mitzvah or something i'm not jewish i don't, I don't freaking know what to call it mitzvah bar, hanukkah whatever uh and like like the sister is just a pain <laughs> the protagonist sister i really hope we don't see her at this you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, or just see the the protagonist of that one as well. I forget the name of him, and probably for a good reason. But anyways, yeah, Hell of a Boss episode three. I speaking of tree, tree just happened, aka episode. Uh, oh, sorry, Hell of a Boss short episode three. It's a short, not the main episode. Okay, but yeah, I seen it. I seen the the short, and it's basically. A sh an episode where they literally call me out. <laughs> they call people out. They call the fans out. They call and may okay, maybe I it mine's different. Okay, I'm basically not like the girl at all. I don't really am into demons at all. I mean, I I get I get possessed by one. I I get chased by one at nights. Okay, by demons. How about that? I guarantee none of them are freaking blitzo, and none of them I want to see because they're scary. Okay, and I'm trying to. <laughs> And that's why I'm trying to be close to God right now because it, it is uh, it is real in these uh, supernatural streets. But um, yeah, the, this one is is about a girl that is into demons, and I'm just like I'm I'm like oh boy, <laughs> and and Blitz was like 
Oh, you're one of those. You you don't want to. It's a twenty something that is living with its parents. Like 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 Viv Viv. What did I do to you? <laughs> why are you calling me out? Why why are you being this r- 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 savage to me? Like stop. <laughs> Like, I feel like Viv is like, yeah, Vince. Yeah, you should move out. You what, Look at this. You see this? This is you right now. Oh, man. If it was me, there would be more like gaming stuff than anime stuff in this one. But at the same time, how dare you, Viv? Okay, just, just shut up. Just don't. Just, why are you calling me out like this? <laughs> it is calling me out. It is like freaking like looking at me in the eyes like this is you. <laughs> I don't freaking make fanfics about demons. That's for damn sure. Okay, gosh, I don't know, but um, yeah, it, it is an interesting episode. Uh, I can't spoil it because you should watch it because it's a YouTube short, and you should definitely check it. Well, I will say is that I didn't know there was a necklace that could protect you from the demons, and uh, like maybe that should be a Bible. <laughs> Instead of Pentagon, that like that doesn't make sense. A Pentagon protecting you from demons, and ma- yes, I'm bringing to realistic terms, but that is like, isn't a Bible supposed to protect you from the demons instead of like whatever that necklace is, or is the Bible implemented into that freaking necklace because that necklace came from heaven, and I just sound stupid. Okay, anyways, <laughs> moving on. Yeah. Uh, there's this whole controversy about, like, people talk, like, there was this one channel talking about, and follow me, follow with me here, of this YouTube channel, and I don't, man, I might get his name wrong, but his name is, uh, Ask Air, and he was talking about the, the new fairy odd parents' new wish, and man, he got mad backlash for that, because the thing is, is that there are aspects of it in that video that I kind of agree with and I do see. But at the same time, he is trying to appeal a crowd that is, like, usually, like, would be into that. But I guess the execution just wasn't there. Like, you know, talking about, like, you know, race swap. And it's dumb because, well, in Fairy Odd Parents' New Wish, that is a totally different character. That is not Tim. Okay, that is not Timothy Turner or Timmy Turner. Like, that is Hazel. That is a different character with a different gender, a different, you know, in a different city. So it's kind of like, I don't know what his point was trying to make, but man, there were some points in that where it's like, oh man, yeah, he's getting backlash for this. It is not well-developed. I feel like this person was a young individual that doesn't understand within, you know, of him talking about the material. And people were saying like he didn't even watch it, which does seem like it. I didn't watch you know, the other seasons, I'm trying to get finished with season one, but I mean, personally, I get what he, where he's coming from and I get where he get that influence, but at the same time, this is like, it's still wrong. Like you got to look at the material before criticizing it. That's just how it works. I don't know. Anyways, that's it. That's all I have, you know, short and sweet. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and adjust. I'll see you when I see you. One love and peace and God bless.